but having a lower rate of a higher amount is really not much better. It is a statistical fact right now that Canadians have lower credit card debt now than what they did a year ago. So what they're doing is they're benefiting from escalated property values, they're taking out equity. And for most people who like, for, let's say you've got you know, $50,000 in credit card debt, you know, 10,000 this credit card, 10,000 this, and maybe a, a line of credit uh, in the amount of 30,000. So $50,000 in the housing market is nothing. So when you refinance, a refinance and pulling out $50,000 is very, very small and probably not even worth half the trouble. So what they do is someone may refinance up to 100,000. 50 is set aside for debt repayment, which may be one of the refinance conditions. But if it's not a refinance condition, ultimately the goal is to pay down their debt and the other 50,000 may go into improving their home, putting in perhaps a, a spa, maybe a swimming pool really small swimming pool for 50. But there could be allocation of that money elsewhere. So it's no secret, credit card debt is down and overall refinances are higher. Yes, you're getting lower rates than what you would have a year or two years ago. But having a lower rate of a higher amount is really not much better than having a slightly higher amount of a, of a lower mortgage amount. I would rather be paying 3% on a $200,000 mortgage than 1.5% on 500,000.